Now, my first guest is the lead singer of Paper Anthem. You might have heard this bit. I don't know. Uh, their new album is called Sign Language. This is live radio. Let's welcome to the show again, Joseph Hitchcock. And I'm going to be here as well. Hi, Joseph. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Can you hear me this time? I'm, I'm all right. Thank you. Yes, um, all kinds of weird stuff happening here. Um, I'm doing the show from my front room, which is why it's, it sounds a bit strange. But anyway, I hope you are okay. Where are you today? I'm sitting in my car in uh, Arkansas in the States. In Arkansas. Okay. And what is happening there? Not a lot, I imagine. Oh, not a, not a lot at all. It's just cold and uh, talking talk on radio. <laughs> <laughs> and do you get a lot of snow in Arkansas this time of year? Actually, no. That's the sad thing. I, my, I, well, I, I grew up here. I lived here basically my whole life. And uh, I've only got like two snows on Christmas. It really doesn't snow very much over here, sadly. That's very sad. Uh, we also haven't had very much here, but we have had uh, quite a lot of snow in the north. Anyway, that's the weather done. Uh, tell us about uh, you. How have you been uh, the last few months? I mean, it's been a very strange time for anybody in a band, any musician, anyone who does live music. What has it been like? Uh, well, it, I mean, it, uh, not, not very good. I mean, everyone's having the same problems, obviously. Uh, you know, I used to like playing shows and stuff like that and you just can't do that anymore so I, I guess I don't know I'm always pra practicing for the next show so it's just weird to have that not on the table anymore but now I'm practicing for like live shows and stuff like that uh, and so I, this album I have coming out uh, the year you'll never get back is sort of I guess about years that aren't so great for people and like how you move through that stuff like that for me it's 2016 but also 2020 for a lesser extent so hopefully that's something people can relate to and I think this album is a proper, real, personal one, because some of the songs were written at a time when you were having a really tough time, weren't you? Yes, yes. Uh, mainly back in 2016 for, for the album, but I just thought it was uh, appropriate to release it after 2020 and going through similar experiences again. I mean, just the title, for goodness sake, The Year You'll Never Get Back, which is what we're all thinking yeah. right now, isn't it? After the year that we had in 2020. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to think about the, the, you know, a year being wasted. I'm sure there are lots of productive people out there who, like, grew as people during that time, and then some people didn't. I tried to, you know, keep learning languages and reading and stuff like that, but uh, it, it was hard to have all that the social you know construct taken away yeah i did manage to empty a kitchen drawer um in that entire year so i felt like that was a complete bonus in my life and uh, tell us about making this album then how were you able to do it were you able to get together with the other members of the band well i wish i had an interesting story for that but i actually recorded this uh, uh, about a year or a couple years ago and um I actually recorded two albums at the same time. So the album I made before this one, and it came out in 20 minutes. That one was called To All the Sailors We've Lost. And uh, that one and this one were recorded at the same time in uh, California at a studio there. And so I had everything all ready to go before all this terrible stuff happened, luckily. Yeah. And how are you feeling about um, getting some live gigs going again? I mean, are they happening at all in America right now? Um, I think some people are playing shows, but like, you know, whenever you see a post like that, I don't know, I guess there's a little mental judging that goes on. Like, are they supposed to be doing that? Is that safe? I, I don't know. I'm personally not playing any shows. I wish I was, but I, I don't, I don't know when it's coming back. And I guess it differs country to country. I, I follow like the UK shows and stuff like that. My favorite band is Foles and I don't know if they have a show coming up in like, I don't know, May or something. I don't even know if that's going to happen. I, and I saw the 1970s five canceled their whole tour I, I i think everyone is hoping for it to come back in 2021 but i, I don't know yeah and uh, brilliant bands hey joseph great to talk to you today i'm sorry the line isn't brilliant to you either so we're struggling with it a bit but i'm going to play your track anyway oh, no. you take care of yourself uh, joseph okay, hitchcock thanks. there uh, the track is called sign language and here it is
is called Paper Anthem and that track is called Sign Language. It's from their third album which is called, how about this for an album title, The Year You'll Never Get Back. Wow, okay. Uh, let's check the roads. It's BBC Radio Bristol 26 minutes to three and Martin has the, li- the latest for you.